can't stand it. It hurts a lot. You'll have to, so your parents don't notice it. Besides, they are almost here. But every time I do it, it hurts more. And about help me grab her up. Her parents can see her like this. Look your belly! Hold on a little longer, just a little longer. Oh, stop! One, two, three. Ah. Hold on, hold on, hold on! Here. Here. Oh, no, there. There. Stop! Oh, ready, 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 ready. ready. It's over. Let's go now before someone sees us. You haven't tried your food. Eat. It's just... I am full. Come on, how are you full already? If you haven't eaten anything... Andrea? Andrea, what's the matter? This isn't the first time we see you throw up, honey. Are you sick? Andrea, honey, are you okay? Andrea, honey, open the door. Andrea! I'm not sick, it's just... I'm stressed because of the finals, and I'm very nervous. Wait, no. We're going to the doctor. I think you have something. It's not normal you're bumming it this much. No, Daddy, I'll be fine. I'll take a pill right now to feel better. Honey, but we need to take her to the doctor. This isn't normal. I completely agree with you. This girl is sent. Yes, Mom! Look at what I got you! Your 15th birthday dress! You're going to look like such a princess! Go on, try it! To see how it looks on you! Let's see! I loved it, did you? Yes, Mom! Thank you! Here, I'll help you! Hey, honey! It doesn't fit! But it's on your side! Uh, it's because... Mom, I have my pants it's on. That's why it's not closing. But but this is your size, honey. I'll try it later. Besides, I have a lot of homework and I have to advance that. Okay, honey. Well, meanwhile, I'll go buy tortillas so we can eat, okay? Try it, yes? Well, my baby, so my dad doesn't see you. Anna! <laughs> Honey, I called the school to see how you were doing with your grades. And they told me that you have an excellent performance. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how happy I am that you're going to be the final doctor. <sighs> Is everything okay? Did I hurt uh, you? Yes, it's just... I think I ate something at school that made me sick. Well, let's go to the doctor. No, no, no. I already took something, and I'm sure I'll feel better. Well, but if you continue this way, I'll take you to the doctor. Teacher called. I hope it wasn't to tell me you failed your classes, huh? Oh, Mom, don't say that. This time I really tried. 
I'm sure she just wants the money for the Christmas decors. Well, I hope so, because if you failed one of your subjects, I'm going to ground you, okay? See you later. Oh, I'm running very late. Honey, I'm late to your school's meeting. Yeah, I'll ask you, please don't go out to the street. <sighs> and one more thing. Don't let anyone inside. Yes, Dad. I'm leaving. Uh, Dad, whatever the teacher tells you, I can explain it, okay? Uh, okay. <laughs> Bye, honey. I love you. Love you. How could you? You really are shameless. How could you possibly do this to us? But what's the matter, Mom? Why do you hit me? <sighs> and you have the nerve to ask, why do you hit me? You truly are shameless, Andrea. Where did I go wrong as a father? You are incredibly ungrateful. You disappointed me, you buried me as a mother, and you made a fool out of me. Why do you say that? Your teacher just told me that three of her students are pregnant and that one of them is you. <laughs> Anna! Anna Paulina! Have you got no shame at all? What's wrong, Dad? Why do you talk to me like that? I can't believe it. I've done everything for you and this is how you repay me! By getting pregnant! Like you were any whore! I'm sorry, Dad. I didn't want you to find out like this. I raised you by my own. So you wouldn't end up like... Your mother. And this is what I get. Dad, I'm sorry. I don't want you to be ashamed of me. I didn't think I could get pregnant. Shut up already! I can't believe your nerve! How could you do this to me? Tell me, where did I go wrong as a father? I keep working my back off to give you everything, give you a future. And look how you turned out to be a teenage mother. The only thing we wanted, the only thing we wanted was for you to finish college! How are you not ashamed to be carrying a bastard in your womb? You have disappointed me as a father. The only thing that your mother and I wanted was for you to have everything. We only wanted you to study, to be successful as a professional, and feel satisfied with all that. And look! Look how you ended up. Pregnant! I'm sorry. I didn't want any of this to happen, forgive me! I want you out of my house! But, Mom, what am I going to do? I have nowhere to go. My baby's father wouldn't take responsibility when I told him about the pregnancy. That's not a problem. If you took the decision as an adult to get pregnant, then you have to solve your problem as an adult! Get out of my house! Mom... Leave! this house. <laughs> oh, forgive me. I swear I didn't plan to get pregnant so soon. Why didn't you take care, Melanie? If I give you all of my confidence, all your studies and everything, you throw it in the trash. Mom, don't say that. Shut up. I saw my love reflected on you, and nothing that I did was even worth it. I wanted you to be a professional, not to end up like me, a single mother without a starting. And look at what you have become, Melanie. God, where did I go wrong as a mother? I'm sorry. I didn't want to get pregnant. I swear I took my pills, but they didn't work! There's time for everything, why do you have to rush? There's time for love, to get married, to have kids. You're just a kid, what are you gonna do with a baby? I can take care of my baby and work to give him what he deserves. My god, you're not capable of doing that, you're just a child. You are just a child! <laughs> Christmas.
crying oneself by anything, you know. I'm going to support you like, like your grandmother did when I got pregnant of you. I won't leave you alone, okay? And I don't know how you'll do it, but you're gonna stop studying. And you'll start working because I'm not gonna plan to provide an ungrateful person like you. And less of all, some bastard grandchild hurt me. Daddy, you can take me out of school. I want to keep studying. Well, you should have thought that before you ruined your life with that spawn inside of you. But don't worry. I'm gonna solve this. I'll make sure that isn't born. <laughs> Here, take it. What is this? That's what you should have taken as soon as you knew you were pregnant. That little pill will help you get rid of the hindrance you get inside. Take it then! Hurry up! Open your mouth. I said open it! <sighs> well then, it's done now. Right after my dad tried to get rid of my baby, I had to get out of my house and live with my grandma. She supported me, and thanks to her, now I make a living washing cars, so I can give my baby a good life. Now a lot of my dreams will have to wait with the arrival of my baby, but I don't regret what I did, because a child will never be a mistake. After a few months, I went back to my parents' house, but without my baby. I lost him over a complication during labor and it was all my fault. I didn't know the harm I was causing him by getting my belly bandaged. Even though the baby is not with me, he made me the happiest mother in the world. But now my little angel flies high, and I promise that I'll never forget him, and I love him very much. <laughs>